Have you ever wondered why groceries in Canada are noticeably more expensive than in many other countries, including the United States? This has led to a considerable number of Canadians crossing the border to shop in the US, where savings are significant, especially on items like meat and dairy. It's so common that it's not unusual to meet Canadians who save as much as $300 a month by shopping in the US. When we compare prices, anecdotal evidence suggests that groceries are indeed lower in the US than in Canada. For instance, a comparison by Narcity in 2023 showed that chicken breasts and milk were cheaper at Target in the US than at Loblaws in Canada, even after converting prices to Canadian dollars. This price disparity is significant enough that some Canadians go as far as reselling goods like cheese to their neighbours to offset costs. But why are Canadian groceries more expensive? Several factors contribute to this. First, geographical and distribution challenges. Canada's vast landmass coupled with a relatively small population creates logistical challenges. The cost of transporting goods across such a large area inevitably impacts grocery prices, especially in remote regions. Second, high operational costs. The cost of raw materials, land utilities and labour in Canada is high. These costs are then passed on to consumers in the form of higher grocery prices. Third, market concentration. The Canadian grocery market is highly concentrated with three major companies, Loblaws, Sobeys and Metro, dominating the industry. This lack of competition can lead to higher prices. In fact, the market is so concentrated that in 1986, eight major grocery chains existed compared to the fewer giants today that have absorbed others through mergers and acquisitions. And finally, external economic factors. Global events like the pandemic and geopolitical tensions also affect food prices, though these impacts are global rather than specific to Canada. The high concentration in the grocery market has sparked concerns about anti-competitive practices, which could be contributing to higher grocery costs. While there's no concrete evidence of price fixing currently, the history of such practices, like the bread price fixing scandal, adds to consumer wariness. Increasing competition in the grocery sector could potentially help reduce prices. Introducing more players could drive down costs and improve quality, benefiting consumers. The Competition Bureau of Canada also indicates that there is room for more competition, suggesting that even the modest increases in profit margins by the largest grocers indicate potential for a more competitive market. In conclusion, groceries in Canada are indeed more expensive than in many other countries, including the US. This situation is influenced by structural issues, market concentration and external economic factors. For Canadians feeling the pinch, understanding these dynamics can at least provide insight into why their grocery bills are so high and perhaps inspire advocacy for more competition to help reduce costs. Don't forget to like and subscribe.